Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Bloodwash, and if you want to play this for yourselves, look down below in the description because the links and the details are going to be down there, alright? Now in this game I'm going to be playing as a pregnant college student. Unfortunately there seems to be a serial killer on the loose that specifically targets pregnant women, but hey, I need to get my laundry done. I really hope you enjoy it, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, but let's begin Bloodwash. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to play through this game without using the filters, no VHS filter, no CRT filter, so the game doesn't look like this. Yeah, personally I'm going for the clarity, I hope you don't mind. Right, can I leave? Ah, oh, I can't leave yet, I need to gather my dirty clothes. Fair enough. What a day. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course. Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. No. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. Oh, I see. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, I'm a woman on a mission, and my mission is to find these clothes. Right. And I can also sort of explore the place as well. So, uh, we've got the kitchen rounds here, and a shirt lying in the middle of it for some reason. Okay. Uh, do I want a snack from the fridge? I went shopping last week, so it's pretty full right now. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, anything in the cupboards? Cabinets? Our kitchen cabinets. I worked really hard to clean them out and I'm proud they've stayed clean. Ah, well good for you. Seriously, good for you. Looks like you're pulling it together. Right, yeah, well, uh, let's see. Let's go into this pigsty of a living room. Let's pick up this shirt. Maybe Liam can clean up the place while I'm doing the laundry. Maybe not. Got some jeans down here. Another shirt. Alright, I think that's all the dirty laundry. Time to go to the basement, okay. What's through here? Oh, we can't ignore the bathroom! Oh, I'm honestly too mad to talk to Liam right now. Let him get over his hangover by himself. He's in there throwing up, is he? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, uh, let's, uh, let's do the laundry first, then we'll come back and have a look at the bathroom. Right. Now we can leave. <laughs> Alright, this way then? So, down to the basement. Hmm. Let's see. A nice man lives here. It's good to know you have at least one good neighbour. Well, yeah. Good thing too, because you only have one neighbour. What about this one here? Oh, hang on. Oh, let's read his newspaper. The headline reads, Womb Ripper Strikes Again. Womb Ripper, what a name. In the early hours of the 30th, authorities were called when a passerby found a terribly mangled corpse haphazardly tossed on the nearby grounds. Sources indicate that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like previous victims, the fetus was cut out and assumed to be taken by the assailant. This is now the fourth victim in as many weeks, and authorities are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime sprees this city has ever endured. Man, okay. If I knew what was good for me, I'd leave. You know, I mean, I'd properly leave. I'd get the fuck out of the country at this point. Right, okay. Floor three, eh? Let's go down. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, well, let, let's see. Let's make some stops along the way. If I can. I don't need to go to that floor. Besides, one of the people on this floor has a mean dog they keep in the hall. Ah, oh, fair enough, fair enough. We've got a vent here. Which I don't suppose I can use right now, but maybe if I find a screwdriver or something like that? I don't know, I don't know. Right. Floor number one. Would this be to actually leave? You don't need to go through there. Hmm. I think you will at some point. Right. Yeah, let's follow this arrow down to the basement. Hmm. I'm not getting good vibes from this place. And the vibes are just getting worse. Right. Okay. Sounds like breathing. What have we got in here? An electrical box. Can I do something with it? It's exposed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what about these lockers? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what's inside. Rat droppings, trash, and spiders. My favourite things. Porno rags. Might be worth a penny or two if they weren't drenched in dubious stains. Lovely. What about this one? 
Oh, this one's empty. Honestly, yeah, it probably is the best case scenario. Okay. Well, it's out of order. What? Out of order? What am I going to do now? I should probably go back upstairs and figure something out. Right. I think I heard something coming from that closet. What, behind me? This one? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hobo Joe! God, that was loud. Alright, hi. God damn, girl, you scared the bejesus out of me! <laughs> you scared the bejesus out of me! I scared you? You scared me! Yeah! What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Very good question. Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Probably. Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. <laughs> yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. That's bullshit, but okay. I believe you. Just next time maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. Yeah, please. Especially not in a horror game. I will. Thanks, kid. Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. Obviously. Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. Right, okay. Can I just close him back in here? No? What the fuck? How long has he actually been there? That's mental, right. Um, okay. The dryer works? Yeah, okay, well, I do, I do. Which is probably why I need to go to a laundromat just outside of town, right? I think that's how the story goes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, well, yeah, let's get back to the apartment. Maybe I can speak to Liam, maybe I can check out this bathroom. There you go. Things are looking up. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right, yeah, all the way back up here. Let's see, it doesn't look like I can jump. I can run. I don't think there's a crouch. Oh, right click seems to zoom in. And I'm looking at my neighbour. This is the nice neighbour who throws his cigarette butts on the floor, is it? It's Stan. What's up, Sarah? What's up, Stan? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. The usual. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk. Yeah. Look. You'll tell me if it gets bad. Yeah. I know it ain't easy to talk about. And you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too. And there's places you can go. Hmm. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? Yep, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yep. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, mm. just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. Is it? Damn. <laughs> I'll have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late, especially with that maniac roaming around. Hmm, the womb ripper? I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I better go grab my purse before I head to the laundromat. Right, okay. Well, thanks for that, Stan. I think you're actually going to get me killed by suggesting that, but sure. Okay, so back in here and uh, let's maybe talk to Liam. Go in the bathroom. Was that there before? I don't know if it was, but there you go. That's the purse. There you go. Hopefully I didn't miss that last bus. Right. Liam? No. Okay, alright. I, yeah, I'm still mad. I still don't want to have a look at the bathroom. Which is a complete lie, because I really do. But yeah, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can catch that last bus. Yeah, see ya, Stan. Son of a bitch, he's gonna get me killed. <laughs> Why did he have to suggest that? Oh, boy. I mean, there's a chance that I'll make it through this alive. I just don't think it's very likely. Okay. So, going back down to floor one. Can I use this now? Right, the lobby. Void. Alright. Okay. Who have we got down here? Looking at his hands. Oh, a junkie! Oh, oh god. Okay, well... Well, you know what? Why not? Hi there. Are you okay? Probably not. 
Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. It? Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God, she's here now! I should probably leave him alone. Probably. Poor guy. Yeah, yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Let's just go outside. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, here's the bus stop. No timetable or anything like that. Um. Very misty, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, oh, <laughs> just for a second, I thought that was the bus. Down this alleyway? Okay. Hobo Joe's brother? Man. Got any change? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Sure, I have a couple dollars. Oh. Oh, she's a, she's a nice lady. Better than nothing. Thanks, kid. Haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Right. Oh, a college girl, huh? Mm-hmm. What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. That's a good sign. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. Yeah. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. Wonderful, wonderful. Keep it free for me, would you? Yeah. Oh, God. Right. All right. Uh, we'll get out of here. But, oh, okay. The bus has arrived. Fantastic. I assume this is the right one. Uh, hi. Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? Well, the laundromat just outside of town. 24-7, I've been told. The laundromat on the outside of town? Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. Oh, really? You won't even have to pay cash, if you know what I mean. Wow, okay. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Mm, yeah. Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Jeez. Wow, okay, this is like the seediest place in existence, isn't it? Oh god, is that like vomit or something? Dirty seats all over the place. Oh, come on, there's gotta be... Oh, there you go, this is clean or clean enough. Let's try this. Lovely view. <laughs> and if you look out to the right, you'll see the oval. Hmm. Okay. Can't look behind me. I don't think there was anyone else on the bus, unless they were hiding behind the seats. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Is this it? Okay. Someone else just got on the bus. Someone wearing like a dinner jacket or a tux, I think? I don't know. What the? Yeah, what the fuck? Hmm, right, okay. Mr. Womb Ripper. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Okay. <laughs> is he wearing shades or has he just got like, I don't know, red insect eyes? I don't know. I think they're glasses. Right. Okay, well at least we're moving. I don't like the fact that he's standing right next to me though. And he keeps on looking at me. He keeps on looking out to the right, not the left. Okay. It's so dark out, I can't even see the street. Stop that. Stop that now. Creepy guy. Okay. Hello. Hi. May I sit beside you? Uh, nah. There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. May I... May I sit beside you? Nah, sorry. Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? Hmm. You're going to die tonight. You're probably right, honestly. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. Right. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. 
How did you? Hmm. I mean, this is the guy, right? The creepy guy. He's the, he's the womb ripper. You will be found, just like all the others, ripped open. Your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Oh my God! Please, just stop talking. Yeah, seriously. May I sit beside you? <sighs> Will you shut up if I say yes? All right, miss. This is your stop. Oh, thank fuck for that. Jeez, Louise. Right. Well, that was a thing. A exit the bus. Jeez. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's hope that premonition doesn't come true. All <laughs> right. Well, here we go. We've made it to the intro. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. We made it. Through luck or judgment, we made it through the intro, and we're watching the bus with the creepy guy head off into the distance. Hopefully that wasn't the last bus. I mean, after my laundry's done, I'm gonna want to take a ride back home, right? <laughs> Alright, well here we are. It's the outskirts of town, prime womb ripper territory, where we have appliances, pizza, income tax, liquor, all my favorite things. Okay, that's just part of the music, right? Here we are, there's the laundromat. Right, let's get inside. I'm feeling a little bit exposed out here. Yeah. Alright. Well, this looks safe. Unless you're him. Hi there. Yes, what is it? Oh, um... Are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We will. Well, it's only ten past eight, so I don't think I'm going to be here for the next three and a half hours, am I? <laughs> Got lost and found here? Oh, nice! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to swindle this one. Alright, so let's have a look. It'll be a long night, so I might need this. Pork sees revenge, alright. Well, why not? Okay, so it's an in-game game? Oh dear, that's not good. Ah, wonderful, alright. Lovely little minigame. Well, I mean it's not, because I'm roaming around as a serial killer trying to kill little girls, I think, but, uh, yeah. Something to pass the time, I suppose. Cool, alright, and it's what, tab to put it away? Cool, cool, alright. Well, let's see, we got some dryers here. Dryers on that side as well. Here we are, we got the washers. And who's this guy? A patron. Doing a late night wash too. Yeah, I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. I see. It was a real pain when the first one burnt down. First one burnt down? First one? Yeah. You knew around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. Huh. I don't think they ever found out exactly what caused it. Actually, as I was walking in, I did take a little look to the left, and I think... Was that police tape in front of it? I should take a look at that. That sounds awful. Yeah. Girl died in that fire, too. Right. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But you are. But what? <laughs> Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. Oh? It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out, but she was found in the office. Hmm. I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. 
that a detective thought the girl was locked in. All right. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Well, if that's true, it does sound pretty suspect. Yeah, a little bit. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick, what with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines these days. Right. Hmm. Well, thanks for that, Mr. Patron. I don't know if that's made me feel better or not. In fact, that's probably made me a little bit more uneasy in all this. Right, um... Let's see, I'm gonna want to use one of these, aren't I? Okay, we got more washers over here. Ah, this one's free. Ah, oh, I need to get some change first. I see, I see. Uh, okay. Oh, forget change. Restrooms it is. I couldn't get into my own, so let's use the laundromats. Alright, here we go. Women? What is with the bathrooms in this game? Why are they always locked? <laughs> what about the men's? What the hell? Very weird. Very, very weird. Okay. Um, well, that's not how I get changed. That's a water fountain. Uh, over here, maybe? Uh, potentially. Oh, dear, we got some damage. Actually, ooh, yeah. What's up with this wall? This wall looks different than the others. Did it used to be a door? I think it used to be a door. Maybe there's access into that place next door. Yeah. Ah, here we go, we got change. All right, that should be enough for a wash and dry cycle. Cool, fantastic. Okay. So, yeah, let's see. This one here. Yeah. In they go, neatly folded, and uh, yeah, I guess I can take a look at the other stores in the plaza while I wait for my clothes. How long is this going to take then? Oh, I see, like eight minutes. Seven minutes, 52 seconds left. All right, well, let's just take a little look around the place. Uh, an ugly doll head. I don't remember seeing that on my way in. It wasn't there, was it? So hang on, I've got a game toy and this. Right. I don't think I should have picked that up personally, but... Okay, what have we got here? Urban Legends number one? Hang on. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? I mean, this could certainly help waste some time. Uh, I'm just going to skim through this. There you go. Baby in the oven. Oh, funny that. That's neat. Looks like it's pretty well done, too. Oh, dear. Yeah, so if you do want to read this, pause it at your leisure. Seems like it is a pretty good one, yeah. And what was this? This was issue number one? Maybe I can find number two as well. And there you go. The first urban legend. Good stuff. Anything else around here? What have we got here? Detergent? Why does the lady on this remind me of my mum? <laughs> um, what's that? I got the remote. Yeah, all right. Well, hang on. Is there a TV around here? I want to say I saw a TV around here somewhere. Ah, there's one in the corner. So, well, hang on. I've got the remote. Let's see. Let's see. No. There it is. Yeah, it works. Welcome to Glacier Peak Ski Resort, where the air is fresh, the sky is blue, and the slopes are killer. <laughs> this winter, Mount Doubleton has a new resident, and it's decided to dine in. Will these innocent skiers survive, or will they become mint meat? It reminds me of that old it's game. It's some kind of savage beast. It's some kind of dangerous freak. It's... Ski Freak. Ski Freak. I love it. Oh, there's more. The horror that is Dracula returns. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> okay. 
Welcome? Welcome to what? Welcome to... Oh goodness. Horror Hotel. Well, this is certainly one way to bide the time as the wash goes, uh, wash goes on. Small things can cause big trouble. Oh yeah? I know where the Tri-Delta Sorority is having their initiation tonight. Right, that's enough of that. I probably shouldn't be watching TV. Not when there's a serial killer on the loose. A serial killer that's probably going to go after people like me. But, right. Okay. Um... Where's that guy gone? Is he donning his Womb Ripper costume, do you think? <laughs> Hello? Actually... He's not around. No one could resist doing... At the end there, surely. Uh, right, yeah, let's get back out to the plaza and, well, maybe let's check out next door. What the... What in the world is that noise? Sounds like a child crying, but... I don't think it's a kid. Well, that was... that was very weird. Right, so this used to be the old laundromat? West End Laundry, and yeah, it's police tape, the police line here. I wonder what happened here? Huh. So there's no getting in? Mm. No. Oh, invisible barrier, thanks. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, so what else have we got? Yeah, liquor, income tax, pizza, appliances. Pizza? Pizza and appliances look like they might be open. they got the lights on at the very least. There's a place down there as well, okay. Haircut? No, I don't think I want my haircut done, no. Um, peepaws, I think. The video studio. Alright. Should we go through the dumpsters? <laughs> there is actually something sticking out of the dumpster. It's an old shirt. Ew, is that blood? I don't really want to inspect it any further. I guess it could be something else. Hmm. It's probably not, though. Is there something up with the, uh, the laundromat employee, do you think? Do you think he's the womb ripper? What have we got here? Sin Eater number two? Looks like another comic. And what's this? A piece of paper. Okay, hang on, hang on. 0451. Looks like a code to something. I wonder what. Good question. Anything in this dumpster? Smells like spoiled meat. Gross. Okay, I'm not going to be digging through this one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, because we can't jump, we can't leap over there. Doesn't look like there's much to find over there anyway. Um... Right, well, yeah, Peepaws? Am I reading that right? Is is this open? Yeah, let's enter Peepaws. Why not? Okay. Uh, so, your people. Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? <laughs> Fish? Um, no, just browsing, thanks. Yeah, just wasting my time. Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. Okay, alright. And don't you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. Is that right? Okay. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> you have quite an assortment of things. Yeah. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaws. Peepaws. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, we've cleared that up, haven't we? Okay. Alright, well let's explore peepaws. We've got chips on display here. I guess you could say I'm a chip connoisseur. If there's a new flavour out, I have to try it. Okay. Got some more soda here. Some cereals, laundry detergent. Maybe I should grab some of this. Kind of a weird place to buy laundry detergent, but I guess it makes sense with the laundromat next door. Hmm, I suppose so. Oh, here we go. Adult XXX. We're going in. We've got porn tapes. <laughs> All the girls. Ah, oh, boring, is it? Let's see. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah. Smile. I'm on camera. Better not take anything that I'm not meant to take, right? Why do people in this game keep doing that? Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? No. No, I'm not. <clears throat> My apologies. <laughs> now I feel I should have stolen something. Right, what else we got? Be Kind Rewind Horror Movies! They're on sale! Some really good deals in here. But I'm not really in the market right now. 
What's this? Reapers number one. Loads of comics. And fish. The beta tanks. Very beautiful, but very mean and antisocial. I can respect that. Alright. Video games too. Tonight it follows. Everyone is followed by something. Hopefully for me it's not that creep from the bus. Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> there you go. Advertisement for Ski Freak there. Right. He has eyes everywhere, but now he's over here. Can I maybe have a look at the counter? What have we got here? A book? Already read it, apparently. I'm a pretty big history buff. Oh, well, there you go. Popcorn? Actually smells pretty good. Ooh, drowned in butter. Movie theater popcorn. Not good for you, but good for the taste buds. Anything in the box? Looks like a delivery the store hasn't gotten around to yet. Right. Ooh, candy. I don't think the clocks are working, are they? No. Um, I don't know how long I've been, you know, roaming around in the plaza. Maybe I should check out the laundromat again? Yeah, I don't know. What we got here? Lots of VHS tapes. I have a good amount of these at home, but there's a few here I've been on the lookout for. Can you guys identify any of these from these very pixelated versions? Mm, if I really looked at it, I could probably... I could probably pick out a couple. Is that Forrest Gump down there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's exit the pawn shop. Let's see. Alright. Sinita number one. Yeah, alright. Uh, liquor. No. Don't think I can get in there. The pizza place, though. I mean, the lights are on. The lights are definitely on, so yeah, I can go in. Alright. So this is, uh, this is Yub, isn't it? <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. Can I get you anything? <laughs> uh, I don't know. No thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Hmm. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. Okay. Feel free to hang out until then, though. Alright. Cheers, dude. Yeah, I feel a little bit safer when I'm not by myself. Alright, so what else we got? Okay, there's a, a menu over there, a bin. We've got an arcade machine. Can I use it? I can! What was that, rum bums or something? Seems like there's quite a lot of stuff in this game to keep you busy while you're waiting. So that's good. Okay, so how does this one work? Ah, I get ya! Alright. No, I don't. I'm a capitalistic casualty, am I? <laughs> and that's the end of that. Alright. Fortune telling machine? If a good night's sleep isn't in my future, then I don't want to hear about it. Fair enough. And what's this? A crane game. I'm not very good at these kind of games. Not that skill has anything to do with it, it's just they're rigged. Yeah, it's like one out of every ten times works. We've got a missing flyer here? A missing persons flyer that has a young woman listed missing over a week ago. There are so many different ones. I wonder if anyone around here knows anything about this. Oh, I can bring this to people and see if they have anything to say about it. Alright, so that's just part of my inventory, is it? <laughs> Along with a load of other stuff. Yeah, there it is. Right, well, yeah, maybe maybe the pizza dude knows something about this. Do you know anything about the recent disappearances? No, not really. No? One of the girls who was in my class was one of them, though. Alright. I didn't know her too well, except that she was pregnant. Of course she was. I hope that she just skipped down and not one of the, you know, victims. Hmm. Seems unlikely, doesn't it? Alright, well, thanks for that. Um, yeah, well, maybe I can go over to the Patreon or, like, people or something at this point. I am very curious as to, uh, how my washing's getting along. I think it might be done at this point. What we got here? And Oh! Oh, well, this is a this is a newspaper article about the laundromat burning down. Most of the details are too faded to read. But yeah, again, maybe someone around here knows what happened. All right. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Well, there was the uh, the patron in here, right? He told me about it to begin with. Looks like this guy's still not back. Got a safe down there. I wonder if it's the code to the safe that I found behind the uh, the dumpster. Anyway, yeah, let's just let's just have a look at the uh, the washing. See how that's doing. I think it's done. What was it? This one, right? Yeah. There you go. 
Well, I've got it washed, so let's get it dried, and then I suppose I'll come back to you. This one here? Alright. Did, did someone ring the bell at the front counter? I think so. Hang on. Oh, this is going to take quite a little bit longer. 14 minutes in total, I think. Alright. I did hear the bell. Oh, hang on. What we got here? The bathroom key. Interesting. Hmm. I don't think he's around. Okay, well, we are going to check out the bathroom, but first things first... Do you know anything about this? What are you, a cop or something? I don't know anything about those missing people. Hmm. Sorry. Okay. Uh, what about this? Yeah, sad day. Used to do my laundry there, and let me tell you, it was a lot better than this shithole. Oh yeah? Had this real hot chick working there too. Shame she got pregnant. Mm. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean. I think I do. <laughs> well, thanks for that, yeah. Where is that employee gone? Oh, hang on. Phone! The hell was that? It's like garbled screaming from hundreds of meters away through water? I don't even know. Oh, and that's that, I suppose. The only person I have to call is still probably throwing up in the bathroom. Right, right, right. Okay. I was just wondering if I could actually get into the employee area? No, I don't think so. Huh. Alright. Uh, well. You know what? I've, uh... I've got this key now, so maybe I can actually check out the restrooms. It's about bloody time. Right, so, women's bathroom? I can now go in. Wonderful. Alright, so let's see. Behind door number one? Okay. Hey. Ooh. What was that, a number? This might be fun to call if I get bored. There is a phone in the lobby I could use. Yeah, so... 867-5309. Okay, alright. Is that Reapers 3? There are so many comics. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, um, can't use the toilet, but I can look at the graffiti, and I think I can maybe call that number. All right. Well, let's, um, let's maybe check out the men's, if possible. Yep, I can unlock that one, too. Okay, what we got here? A report on Lewis Kennedy. All right. This is just for public intoxication, but that name keeps popping up. Does it? I wonder if I can find out more about him. I can bring this to people and see... Right, okay, so I've got the flyer to show people, the newspaper, and now this police report? Okay. Cool. Right, so let's see. Behind door number one. Two. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be opening that one. Right, yeah. I think it's maybe time to leave. <laughs> Actually, can I lock this back up? No, I don't think I can. Oh, shit. All right. Um, well, let's just... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's a thing in this game, isn't it? That's the, what, fourth time that's happened? Who could have put this here? I don't know. The Womb Ripper? The employee who's gone missing? Maybe they're one and the same. Right, okay, um... Well, this is the police report. Do you know anything about this? Don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. Yeah? He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. Ah, right. We were buds, but he disappeared one day. Go on. It's the aliens, I tell ya. <laughs> Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. Hmm, don't know about that, but thanks for, uh, thanks for the information. Can I check this wall out again? I am very curious about this wall. Yeah, I have a feeling that I'll be getting through there and getting into the old place. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well. That mannequin did freak me out a little bit. How long's this got to go? About ten minutes left. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, yeah, let's... 
Let's maybe go back to Peepaw. Um, I could go back to the pizza dude. And maybe I could go to appliances? I mean, it looks like the lights are on, so there might be someone home, you know? Um, let's start with Peepaw, though. Yeah, let's see. What am I going to show him? I mean, pretty much everything at this point, right? Right, there he is. Back behind the counter. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to... Yeah, the disappearance. Do you know anything about the recent disappearances? Recent? This has been going on for a long time. No, really? How long? Like, when the Womb Ripper killings first began? Lord, no. I'm talking years, girl. Years? Years? Hmm. Don't make me repeat myself. Yes, this area hasn't been the safest place. Oh, now you tell Not me. Not since that laundromat caught fire. Right. The one over there? No, that's the new one. The old one is right next to it. Been empty ever since that night. Are you saying there's some correlation between the laundromat fire and the missing people? There's gotta be, right? I'm just saying what I'm saying. Because he's pee poor and that's what he does. Well, did anyone die in the fire? We don't know. The girl working there when the fire broke out was never found. Oh. No bones or nothing. Oh. Alright, interesting. After that, people would go missing here or there. And as time has gone on, it's become more frequent. Hmm. Made my daughter and grandchildren move out of the area a few years ago because of it. Probably for the best. Anything else you can tell me? Uh, leave an old man be. I have things to attend to. Like making more I love my people shirts. Well, no, uh, we're going to talk about this as well, people. It was a real shame. Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. And that's all he's got to say on the matter. That's a little bit suspicious there, people. What sort of secret? Anyway, um... What about Lewis Kennedy? Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Oh, yeah? Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Yeah? Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. All right. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. Hmm, okay. Well, it sounds like, it sounds like the killer, you know, the Womb Ripper, could be Lewis Kennedy. Maybe the girl that worked there. Maybe the employee that's over there now. I mean, maybe they're one and the same, right? Maybe that is Lewis or something, I don't know, in disguise. But, uh, right, yeah, it seems like it's one of those three at the moment. I don't think it's going to be people. It's probably not going to be the pizza guy. The creepy guy was a bit of a red herring, I think. Right. Uh, well, yeah, let's let's go back to the, the pizza dude and, and let's see what he's got to say about the newspaper and the police report, yeah? Hey. Yeah, he hasn't closed up quite yet. Wish this place would go up in flames next! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Are you, though? Uh, okay, so let's see. This one? Lewis Kennedy? Yeah. Nope. Never heard of him. Ah. Ah, well, thanks for your help, I suppose. Never mind, never mind. Uh, maybe I could best my high score in rum bums, but maybe not. Nah. Let's maybe try next door. Th Whoa! What? The <laughs> Why do people keep jumping out at me? Hi. Can't seem to speak to you. You ah. look just like her. I do. Who? Same eyes. Same hair. Oh, she used to be so beautiful. Who are we talking about here? But I've lost her. It's been so long now, and I can't find her. Hmm. Oh, did you know one of the girls who went missing around here? Ma'am? Hmm. She's not going to talk to you about that, I guess. I guess she's done talking. Yeah. All right. You look just like her. Yeah. Okay, we can go through this Ooh. again. Say. Oh, ma'am? And then she shuts up again. Right, I I I'm wondering talking. if she's maybe going to respond to some of the stuff that I've got. So, maybe not this. No. But, I don't know, the... Yeah, the newspaper? Or this? Ah. 
thought I was going to get a reaction out of her with this, to be honest. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's try the appliances place. Yeah. Yeah, it's open. Okay. There's someone around, and I don't think he's the Womb Ripper, so I, <laughs> I feel a little safer in here. Hello. Ah, customer. Looking for a TV? Toaster? Blender? Uh, sorry, I'm just browsing. Yeah, just killing time. Oh. What kind of person just browses appliance stores at this time of night? Well, what kind of person opens appliance stores at this time of night? I mean, <laughs> this is a bit peculiar for you, isn't it? I'm just waiting on my laundry. Well, then why don't you just buy a washer and dry here? Yeah. We have the newest models at the lowest prices. Is that right? No offense, but I feel like you're the newest thing in the store. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> I do take pride in my appearances. <laughs> well, okay, well, there's someone new, so maybe he might know about the disappearances. Crazy, right? Yeah. Thinking about all the killings can creep a guy out. Especially being all alone out here. Yeah. I know the victims are all women, but still. Hmm, okay. And what about this newspaper? Look, I don't know anything about that. I just opened up shop not long ago. As I'm sure you can tell by how clean it is in here. Yeah. However, I'm no detective. But if you ask me, I think it has something to do with the sounds I hear at night outside. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't want you to think I'm losing my marbles, but I hear some weird things out there some nights. Just screams, I guess. Hmm. Almost like from a child. But I can tell that ain't no kid out there. Is that the Womb Ripper, do you think? Maybe, maybe. Alright, well I've got this too. Don't know who that is. No? But he sounds like a real asshole to me. That yeah, sounds about right, doesn't it? It sounds about right. Okay, alright. Uh, well, yeah, let's have a little look around. We got, we got lockboxes. What? Oh, okay, hang on, what's in the lockbox? A Polaroid? An old Polaroid of two people, a man and a woman. On the back is a name, Samantha. Maybe someone around here knows who these people are. Ah! Okay, so again, I'm gonna bring this around to people and show them. Right. Oh, that's, that's nice. Anything else? We've got the radio, stereos... Okay, well, hang on. Uh, where is this thing? There it is. Uh, do you know these people? What a crappy picture. <laughs> Say, I have a great deal on the camera. Wait. Ah, never mind. I never had a camera. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe someone else can tell me about this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What about you? Are you going to respond to this? No. Uh, the pizza guy. Hey again. I don't know who that old guy is, but the girl is Samantha Rhodes. All right. I used to go to school with her. She was really nice. Before she disappeared, there were rumors she got knocked up, but no one knew by who. Mm. Man, I hope that creep wasn't the one. Right, okay. The plot thickens. Uh, what about people and the patron? It's not gonna be you, is it? Right. This is... This isn't the same car that I saw earlier, is it? Oh, I can't examine it. Hang on, yeah, that's strange. I could have sworn I've seen this car before. Just before I got on the bus, I saw this car. Is this how the Womb Ripper drives around, do you think? Hmm. He might be in the area. If that's the case, though, that definitely rules out the guy on the bus. Right, okay. I I'm going to go back to Peepaw. I'm going to show him this photo. Uh, and then I'm going to try the patron in the laundromat. And then, well, we'll see how long we've got to wait. It might be close to being done. Yeah, I remember those two. Oh, you do? The guy is Lewis. Right. Used to own the old laundromat that burnt down. The girl used to work there. It was a shame what happened to them both. Hmm. Okay, thanks for that. Lewis and Samantha, then. Right. So, back into the laundromat. Back to the patron. 
Because this guy still hasn't turned up, which is a little bit strange. Because, well, <laughs> I guess it's midnight and the clocks aren't working, right? But, uh, right, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's Lewis. And the hot bride who used to work for him. Right. He always was a slick bastard. Thanks for that. <laughs> Not particularly useful, but that just confirmed what everyone else is saying, I suppose. So, it's done? What the hell? These clothes are still wet. This machine must be broken. But those were my last quarters. I need to find that employee and get my quarters back. And he's still not back, is he? Oh, shit. Bloodstains? They weren't there before. Can I really not get back into the employee area? Oh, hang on. Oh. Right. No. Oh, shit. It's alive. What the it's fuck? the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. Was he attached to the ceiling? Right. Jeez Louise, okay. Uh, oh, hang on, here we are, here we are. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the. Oh dear. I think I've just been cut off. Shit! 20 minutes later. Uh, oh? Wait. Am I, Officer Burton? Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. Ah, I think so. But it's. Strange. Oh? I can't seem to be able to find anyone. Alright. Okay, yeah, I think I'm playing as another character now. Right, well, let's go into the laundromat, shall we? Yeah, they've shut up shop. No more people. Hmm. Locked. Weird. Wait a minute. Is that someone crying? Oh. It sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. Oh, the income tax place? Right. Huh, okay. Well, let's check it out. Through here? Yep. Whoa. What the hell is going on? Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here. Hmm. I better investigate thoroughly. Right. So what have I got? Have I got any items? Oh, god damn. Some notices, schedules, and a note from Donna that reads, Whoever's eating my lunches, I will find out who you are and report you to Henry. Poor Donna. Yeah, poor Donna. I assume it's not Donna making that noise. Okay. Through here? Hmm. Alright. Through here? Oh yeah, this seems to work. This place is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. <laughs> okay, maybe I can find a key around here somewhere. Yeah, maybe I can. Locked as well? Yeah, okay. Well, we're looking for a key. Locked? This one? Also locked. I need to find this key. Ki Whoa. Whoa. Uh... Hello? <laughs> Sir? Hmm. I don't like this. Hi. What? Oh. The fuck was that? I do have a gun. I was wondering about that. Holy Jesus. Was it holding a child? Uh, maybe. Or a fetus, possibly. Okay. Right. Cool. Cool. The closet? All right, we're into the closet. Let's see. There's something here. Oh, it's an office key. Ah, maybe this is the key that opens up all those doors. Okay. Where the hell is this guy? This way? No, hang on. Oh, this doesn't fit the door's lock. Well, hopefully it works on the four doors back here. I'm actually really enjoying this, yeah. Right, let's try this one. Yeah, this one works. Okay. Lots and lots of boxes. Lots of places for this guy to jump out and kill me from, though, you know? Okay, so far so good. 
This way. Another locked door. Again. This key does not fit in this door's lock, so I'm going to need to find yet another key. Oh dear. I'm going to get killed on the way out of here, aren't I? No? <laughs> I'm checking all my corners. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi. You gotta help me. There's some crazy person running around with a knife. I know, I know. Slow down. It's okay. Just follow me and I'll get you out of here. Right. What? What the? Shoot! Shoot him! Hi. Burton, shoot him! Shit. Why did you shoot him? There has to be another way out of here. Oh my god. Right. Wait, so this doesn't work? Oh, what? Well, so I'm actually I'm locked in here? Uh, okay. Well, I, I guess I'll check the... I'll check the lock on the door again? Or... Or a vent. Enter the vents. Okay. Bloody hell. Yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of a lull while I was waiting for my washing and drying to get done, honestly. But... You know, the... Whoa! Oh, shit! The game is really ramping it up right now. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I think it was I think it was worth the wait. Jesus Christ, that's him screaming. He's just so fucking loud. Okay. Alright. Bloody hell, that, they've gotta be really, really sharp to get through like metal ventilation. Holy crap. I'm zigzagging all over the place, hoping I don't get stabbed now. Right, down. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Okay. Maybe this guy was a little bit too disciplined with his trigger finger or something? I don't know. Anyway, we're back to Sarah. It's been forever, and no one's coming for me. Maybe I can make a run for it. Oh, God! Right. Well, looks like it's not the patron. God damn. I don't think he was pregnant, though. Maybe he had, like, a food baby growing inside him, but that's it. Right. What we got here? A hammer? This might come in handy later. Hang on, hang on. Get that out. Yeah, there you go. Can uh, I can't use it as a weapon? Uh, I can't call 911 again. It can't help me right now. No, okay. The safe? As if I would know the code. Well, I thought I had the code, actually, but it wasn't for that. Okay. Right. I don't know where that guy went. What we got back here? Oh? Okay. Uh, what's this? A receipt? A receipt for a building repair company. Okay. Looks like they had to repair one of the walls in the laundromat with plaster. Ah. I think I know which wall they're talking about. Right, let's get out of here. It's a dead end. I don't like being here in a dead end. Poor guy. I really did think it was him. Turns out, no. So it's it's Lewis or the woman that disappeared. I think that's uh, that's our two prime suspects. What the fuck? The wind blows. The There's someone on the other end. And down will come. Yeah, just for a moment, I didn't actually see that, and I was just thinking the intestines were talking or singing. <laughs> right. It's it's surely this wall, isn't it? Maybe it's this? <clears throat> ah! There you go. There's a door behind here. To the old laundromat. Go on. Oh god. Alright. Well, of all the dumb ideas, this has got to be right at the very top, right? I don't know why I'm holding this. I can't use this as a weapon. Let's put it away. Uh, okay. So, yeah. It's, um... It's looking pretty worse for wear, honestly. It doesn't look all that burned. It does look damaged. But, hmm. Oh. Oh dear. Hang on. Okay, can't open that one, can't open that. Just some creepy sounds. Right, let's just let's just get out of here. 
got to find our way through. Really, if I was if I was smart about this, I would just be running home, or you know, at the very least, waiting for the next bus. Ouch! <laughs> the jump scares, as cheap as they are in this game, have I think all worked. Yeah. Anything in the crate? Can't open it. It's firmly nailed shut. Well, if only I had this. Really? You can't pull the nails out or anything? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, lockers? Empty. Empty. Okay. Something down here, a newspaper. Its headline reads, Main suspect in police investigation disappears. 45-year-old Lewis Kennedy has gone missing. The top suspect in the grisly crime of an arson and alleged kidnapping slash murder of a young woman has eluded authorities. Sources say that Kennedy has been under surveillance for a few weeks, and at some time over the course of last night had broken contact with officers, and has not been seen since. Authorities issued a warning for all residents in the area to be on the lookout for this potentially dangerous individual. Right. Seems like he's the guy. I'm wondering if there's going to be a twist. Maybe there's two womb rippers. It's the, it's the guy and the girl. Okay. Candles, nice touch. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Interesting wall decorating too. Missing posters, yeah. What are these doing here? I should probably leave. But I just want to go a little bit further. <laughs> uh, I won't budge. We've got a, a flashlight! Right! I can't believe I've actually made it this far into the game without a flashlight, but alright. Um, yeah, we should get out of it. Uh, what? Oh shit. Oh dear. Okay, right. It it definitely won't budge. Can I move the freezer or something? No, that won't open. The, the filing cabinets! Hang on. Oh shit. Right, thankfully this door is unlocked. Right, we've got machinery here. It, it's some kind of machinery. Best not to mess with it. Yeah, probably, probably. What the hell? Uh, I don't know if that steam's gonna kill me, is it? One way to find out. Hmm. Okay. Oh, God. Look at this. A corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's a corpse. It looks like it's been here for a very long time. What's this? Flesh? Oh, it's like a flesh mask. Oh, my God. Another one there? And a note. How long have I been here? Last thing I remember was walking home, and now I'm locked in this godforsaken room. Who would do this to me, and why? I need to find a way out of here. There's dried blood on the walls and the floor, and I have my child to think about now. Right. Mm. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay. I <laughs> that didn't work quite as well as all the others, but... Right. This way? Is locked. Okay, yeah, maybe there is a key around here somewhere. Maybe there is. This way? I'm just waiting for him to jump out at me, honestly. Okay. What we got here? A, a scalpel. And another flesh mask. Oh my god. Another note, though. I know I won't be getting out of here alive. That psychopath, it... It kills women like me. I've heard at least three others brought here and killed. Peeking through the cracks, I saw that it creates these masks out of skin. Skin from the poor infants whose mothers were just slaughtered. I don't know what kind of game it's wanting to play. I think my time's almost up. It made me swallow a key. A key that I think would get me out of here. But I have a feeling it won't let me live long enough to use it. I'll be strung up and butchered like the rest. And my baby. Oh god, I'm sorry, my little angel. Yeah, this is fucking dark, isn't it? Uh, strung up like the rest. Like the one that we saw? Is it that corpse in this room back here? Well, I think I might understand the scalpel, actually. Let's try it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. Is there a key? There is a key inside. I am so sorry. Jeez Louise. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's no way that he, or rather it, as everyone keeps saying it, hasn't caught up to me yet. 
I, I honestly think it might be the girl, or it might be the two of them together. I, oh, okay. We loaded something in. Hopefully it wasn't the Womb Ripper. Okay. A few lockers here. Another corpse? Yeah, I think another corpse. Without a face. Oh my god. It's... a corpse. It looks like it's been here for years. There's a wallet sticking out of his pocket. Oh yeah? What? Well, the driver's license belongs to Lewis Kennedy. Oh! But this doesn't make any sense! I need to get out of here and call the police. So is that Lewis? Or is that like a setup, maybe? Can't really tell because the skin's been taken off of the face, I suppose, but... Alright. Maybe it's not him. Maybe it's her. Maybe it's just her. Oh god, hang on. Can I go? Oh, I can go through this. Oh, what? This is terrible. She's been splayed open. Looks like she hasn't been here very long. Is that another mannequin? I think so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wasn't sure for a second. Wasn't sure. Alright, through here? Yep. Find the child. Okay. I'll need to find a way to get this lock off. Okay. Well, we're looking for a key or bolt cutters or something like that. Alright, dead end. What about this? I can't even try and use this door. Down here, then. Uh. Hi! Oh, shit. Okay. <sighs> well, I always prophesied that I was gonna die, you know? I did get that premonition from the creepy guy on the bus as well. I think I am going to die at some point, and it's going to be at some point pretty soon, I think. Over here? Oh dear. I'm going to try it. Hopefully it doesn't snap. <laughs> oh my goodness, you could cut the tension with a knife. All right. Uh... Wait. Oh no, that's not the pizza guy, is it? Uh, n no, I don't think so. It's, it's a doll. It's a doll that's been cut in half. Okay. He's still okay. He's... He's still okay. I've got ammo! I've got ammo! I just need to find a fucking gun! <laughs> I mean, well, hang on. Maybe maybe the officer's around here? Or the, the corpse of the officer. I don't think he made it. Maybe I can fire the gun better than he could. I still don't really understand why he didn't. He had all the time in the world. I don't know. Just like a, a deer caught in headlights, maybe. Like, okay. Well, hopefully the uh, the gun wasn't on that side. <laughs> all I found was the ammo. Uh, over here. Oh my goodness. Ah, there you go. And I suppose that's his arm, isn't it? Yeah, I better keep this with me, just in case. There you go. Right. Okay, so the gun can be fired. Good. Good. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Where is the Womb Ripper? Where is he? Or most likely she? Oh, I see. Oh, hold on. Maybe this is how I get rid of the lock. Yes. There you go. Okay, we're through and we're going down. Okay. Come out, you asshole. I'm ready for you. Are you? Mm, not so sure about that, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Just another mannequin. Uh... What have we got in here? A calculator? I'm looking for more ammo, possibly. I don't know how much ammo I've got. Can't seem to reload. Maybe that's not going to be an issue. Or maybe I don't have enough ammo to reload. Okay. 
you really can cut the tension with a knife. Oh, fuck this. Ah, but the flashlight! The flashlight is now working! Right. I'm gonna go this way, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, this way. Oh! oh Jesus! I think I missed a couple of headshots there, but... That was definitely a hit. Where the hell did you run off to? How the hell are you still alive? Oh dear. Oh fucking hell. I don't like... I don't like the way this is laid out with the mannequins especially. Oh shit, right, I'm, I'm getting back here. Oh, oh, okay, alright. Another hit, a shot to the stomach there. I was very, very close to getting stabbed. God damn, okay. That's another mannequin, isn't it? Oh, look at this big open area. I don't know if that's good or bad, though. To be honest, I think the best place here was probably in that corridor, because there's less places for him to sneak from, you know? So, maybe I should just be here. Especially if I back myself up into this corner. Shit. How many times do I have to shoot the killer? Oh. Why? Here we go. There you go, there you go. Oh, that's... The Wound Ripper is still not dead. It's like Freddy or Jason or something, they just never die. Oh my goodness, what the hell have we got over there? Right. Uh. Jeez Louise. Oh, look at all this. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is all sorts of wrong, isn't it? Right, where are you? Where the hell are you? I think I've still got a few rounds? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Okay. Another corner. I'm just trying to stay around the perimeter of the area, you know? Jeez Louise. This place is massive! It's actually massive! Yeah, I'm trying to keep my back to the wall so I don't get, you know, backstabbed, essentially. Where the hell are you? Oh my god, I really, really do not like this. Oh boy. Alright. Oh! Headshot! And he's down! Or maybe she, right? It all makes sense now. Lewis Kennedy wasn't killing all those women. No. It was Samantha, right? It was Samantha. Right, there you go. After Lewis locked her in the laundromat and burned it down, she survived. And she must have lost her baby, though. Hmm. With almost being killed, losing her child, and being terribly burned, she completely snapped. She killed Lewis, and then set her sights on killing others who had something she didn't. Right. Oh, God. Hmm. Well, there you go, mystery solved. Well, there you go, that was Bloodwash, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, but I do happen to know that after the credits, there is an epilogue, so we're going to play through that first, okay? And now I have control.
Well, I was pretty upset to be woken up so late for an impromptu autopsy. Right. But when they told me that it was the actual womb ripper, well, I got down here as soon as I could. I bet you did. I can't believe that it turned out to be Samantha Rhodes, who'd gone missing and was presumed dead years ago. Hmm. And there she is. Shall we begin the autopsy? I really feel I should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> or maybe you can begin the autopsy by chopping her head off, just in case. Okay. So she's definitely dead? Oh, oh no. What the hell? The power went out. Uh, maybe there are two of them. I don't know. Maybe I was right about that. The fuse box is down the hall. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> she might, honestly. She might. Oh, now I can leave. Right. Down the hall, you say, eh? Okay. Hmm. I don't think this is going to end too well for Doug, personally. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know where that was coming from. Behind me? In front of me? Round here? Okay. Is this it? Is this the fuse box? Turn on the lights. Right. Okay. The lights are on. Leave. Ah, shit. I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, let's just go back to the room and continue the autopsy. And hope that she's still there. I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Fuck, she's gone. What the? She's gone. I have to get out of here. You do. You do. She's probably hiding in this fucking cabinet or fridge here. Right, go, go. Okay. So, is... <laughs> hiding in one of the morgue lockers, eh? Well, there you go. That was Bloodwash, epilogue and all. And it seems like Samantha is very difficult to kill. Like Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, yeah. Maybe she's going to turn up in a Bloodwash too. I don't know. But yeah, that was Bloodwash. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this. Overall, I thought this was a pretty good game. Maybe there was a little bit of a lull when we were waiting for our washing and drying to be done for that half an hour when you're just expected to read the comics, have a look at the TV, talk to people. But, you know, that section did allow us to talk to people, to connect a few of the dots, to make sense of the story and the mystery. So, you know, it wasn't bad as such. It just lessened the pace for a while. But, um, yeah, overall, I think this was a good one, and I did enjoy playing it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. What's through here? Oh, we can't ignore the bathroom! I'm not getting good vibes from this place. And the vibes are just getting worse. I think I heard something coming from that closet. What, behind me? This one? Jesus Christ, Hobo Joe! Yeah, I'm still mad. I still don't want to have a look at the bathroom. Which is a complete lie, because I really do. They took it. The people in the walls. They... They took it from me. Lovely view. Mmm, right, okay. Mr. Womb Ripper. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. It's so dark out, I can't even see the street. <laughs> Stop that. All my favourite things. Lovely little minigame. Well, I mean, it's not, because I'm roaming around as a serial killer trying to kill little girls, I think, but, uh... Alright, here we go. Women? What is with the bathrooms in this game? He's not around. No one could resist doing... at the end there, surely. Why do people in this game keep doing that? Behind door number one. Two. Oh dear. Um, well, let's just... Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. And that's all he's got to say on the matter. That's a little bit suspicious there, people. Let's maybe try next door. Th Whoa! And he's still not back, is he? Oh, shit. Right. Next oh, shit. This place is a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. <laughs> Whoa. What? Uh... Hi! 
Burton, shoot him! Shit. Why did there he shoot him? There has to be another Burton. You know the... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> the jump scares, as cheap as they are in this game, have, I think, all worked. Candles, nice touch. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so the gun can be fired. Good. <laughs> you really can cut the tension with a knife. Oh, fuck this. I. Oh! Headshot! And he's down! Or maybe she, right? Shall we begin the autopsy? I really feel I should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> or maybe you can begin the autopsy by chopping her head off, just in case. So, is... 